This morning, a convoy of buses threaded from south to north for what is literally a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The first and only face-to-face -face meetings between Korean relatives separated for over six decades at least. There were 89 families in all, the southerners chosen by lottery, the northerners apparently having to prove their loyalty to their dictatorship first. They've been separated ever since the Korean War ended in 1953, and some even longer than that. And so, in this North Korean holiday resort, in itself a contradiction in terms, witness a sister meet her little brother for the first time since 1945. Old photographs are their only clue to mutual recognition. You were two and I was four, she tells him. Yet life in North Korea is so etched on her brother's face that their ages seem reversed. North Korea is permitting them 11 hours together spread over three days. There are no repeat visits. There is no second chance. Only this year's thaw in North-South relations, allowing this painfully short melting of hearts. I'm so grateful you came, one sister tells another. I remember how beautiful you once were. <laughs> Young North Koreans paid their respects to relatives they will never see again. 56,000 South Koreans are on the waiting list for reunions like this. Though every year, around 3,000 die before their hope of a meeting can be fulfilled. This is unbelievable, one woman says after first glimpsing her brother. When he walked towards me, his face looked just like our father. The southerners bring gifts of medicine and vitamin pills for northerners who've grown up malnourished and are therefore shorter. And when this 92-year-old meets her 71-year-old son, their age difference again seems to have disappeared their lives separated by far more than the 65 years they've been torn apart. No wonder she won't let go of him. There have been no phone calls, no letters, no emails allowed. And after this precious window closes and they cannot hold each other again, imagine the pain amid the awful return to silence.